guys, today we're going to be reviewing different text structures. When we're finished reviewing our text structures, we're going to complete a text structure sort together. So let's go ahead and jump right in. The first text structure we're going to talk about out of five is a description. So a description just means that the passage or the paragraph that you're reading is simply describing something. It may be telling you all about a sport or a person or a place that you visit, as long as it's giving you lots of details about what that thing is in that paragraph. Some of the examples of clue words that you might use, um, might see used in a paragraph are uh, about, is, are, has, for example, there's many that they could use. And then a graphic organizer that we use is called a web or a bubble map. So we use this and we put our topic here and then how to describe it out here. So right here we may put um, Ben Tonya Gibbs and then here we may put students, panthers, uh, blue and white, anything to describe what Bentonia Gibbs is. The second one we're going to talk about is cause and effect. A cause and effect is events and actions, and it gives you the reasons that that happens. So it might say, I got a flat tire because I ran over a stick. So the cause would be, I ran over a stick. The effect would be that I got a flat tire. So because I ran over a stick, the effect is that I got a flat tire. What made that happen? A few of the clue words um, that you might see in a paragraph when you were talking about um, cause and effect are because, therefore, the reason this happened, or since this happened. Um, the third one we're going to talk about is sequence. So a sequence is something that you have learned since you were probably in kindergarten. A sequence is just the order that events happen in, the steps that something happens in. It might be in number order. It might go in order from the years that it happened in. It might give you somebody's age that each thing happened in. So you're going to see words like first, next, then, last, finally, a series of dates. It could be anything. A lot of times they're going to be in a timeline. You can see a timeline going down. Or a lot of times it's going straight across and it'll have the years listed. The third one, or the fourth one, excuse me, that we're going to talk about is compare and contrast. It's where you're trying to see the similarities and differences in two different things. So some of our key words are, on the other hand, unlike, like, different, same. And for that, we use a Venn diagram. You can use it in squares or you can do the bubbles. And sometimes we even do the top hat method. We've worked on that one. Then you have your final one that we're going to review, and that's problem and solutions, where you're given a problem in the paragraph. And then by the end of it, they work it out and figure out what is the solution. How did they fix that problem? So it says some of our keywords, the problem is, our issues, it was solved by, or puzzled. And then the chart, you'll put your problem at the beginning. In the middle, you'll put all the ways they attempted their problem. And then the third column, you're going to put the solution. How did they fix that problem? So now what we're going to do so we're going to read some task cards, and we're going to sort them together. So let's jump right in with this one. Walmart has pretty much everything you could need. They have food, toys, clothes, electronics, and even crafts. What did we say it would be if it's listing or telling you all about something? Telling you all about one thing. Awesome. A description. It's telling us all the things that you could get at Walmart. I'll stick that one next to description. Okay, our next one. If a swimmer spends too much time in the pool, their hair may turn green from the chlorine. So because the swimmer spends too much time in the pool, their hair turns green. So it makes something happen. So this would be what text structure? Awesome, cause and effect. Because the swimmer spends too much time in the pool, the effect is their hair turns green. All right. Let's do another one. The football team never took practice serious, so they never won a game that season. Because they never took practice serious, they never won a game, what text structure would this one be? Good. This one is also going to be cause and effect. So we have our two cause and effect examples. Let's 
keep going. Mario and Luigi are twin brothers in Nintendo games, and Mario wears red coveralls, whereas Luigi wears green coveralls. Luigi is taller and thinner than his brother. What text structure do we use when we're telling how things are alike and different? How things are alike and different. Awesome. Compare and contrast. Telling us what's the same and different about Mario and Luigi. You guys playing video games probably already know a lot of things about those two characters. All right. Ruth Graves invented chocolate chip cookies for her hotel, the Toll House Inn, in 1938. She first made the cookies by chopping up the Nestle chocolate bar. And in 1941, the Nestle began selling the chocolate chip form, in chip form. So what do we say... What text structure do we say we use when we often talk about what year something happened in? Which one talks about years or dates? Perfect. A sequence. So it starts off in 1938, and then we see the year 1941. So we see that this is progressing over time, happening over time. Okay. Okay. Chocolate chip cookies are made with brown sugar, eggs, flour, white, and white sugar. It's listing all the things used to make chocolate chip cookies. So it's telling us about something. If it tells us about something, what text structure are we using? Nice. We are using a description. It's describing all of the ingredients that are necessar necessary to make chocolate chip cookies. Okay, we have four more. Football and baseball are both sports, yet they are so different. In football, players wear a lot of equipment, but in baseball, no extra equipment is used. Both sports are played with a ball, and players wear a uniform. So we're learning all the ways that football and baseball are alike and different. When we use keywords like alike and different, what text structure do we use? Good. Compare and contrast. We're learning all the ways that baseball and football are similar. They both have uniforms. They both use a ball. In football, you wear a lot of extra equipment. In baseball, you do not. Use that one. We'll compare and contrast. All right. If you're in a hurry but still need to eat, going through a speedy drive-through is a great solution. This one has a nice keyword clue word in it. What clue word do you think is helping us figure out what text structure we have right now? That word right there, solution. Very good. Solution tells us. So this is going to be problem and solution. Your problem is you're in a hurry, but you're hungry. Your solution is let's just go through a drive-thru. Right. Fast food chains have been around for years. White Castle was the first fast food restaurant, which opened in 1921. McDonald's opened much later in 1940, and Chick-fil-A followed in 1946. So we have a series of restaurants opening. If it's happening over a period of time, we see three different dates, 1921, 1940, and 1946. So we're going to think or know that this text structure is... Awesome. Sequence. Giving you the dates that it happened in. It started with White Castle opening, then McDonald's, followed by Chick-fil-A in 1946. All right, our final one. I'm going to cover the chart so you don't know which one we're missing. In Super Mario Brothers, Bowser steals Princess and locks her up in a castle. And Mario and Luigi work together to save her from him. But the problem is, Princess... Uh, Bowser locks the princess up in a castle, and Mario and Luigi have to figure out how to save her. So this text structure is going to be problem and solution. Awesome. So now we have reviewed our text structures, and you have even done a text structure sort. Nice job.